Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for Third Graders. Our concept is equivalent fractions. This is part one. Remember third graders, the time to be awesome is now. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one group tutoring and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the description box to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about hype math and reading. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's talk about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that may have different numerators and denominators but they have the same value. So let's look at our examples. We have one fourth, we have two eighths, and also three twelfths. Although all of these fractions have different numerators and denominators, they are all the same value, okay? Again, equivalent fractions may have different numerators and denominators, but they have the same value. And you can see that in our example, we see the one fourth and we see the one eighth, even though it's split up into two with one eighth, it's still the same value of one fourth. And the same thing for our three twelfths. It's divided into three parts. However, it is the same amount as the one fourth. Let's look at another example. We have three fourths, six eighths, and also nine twelfths. Again, although these fractions have a different numerator and denominator, they are the same value. So whenever you're looking for equivalent fractions third graders, don't so much pay attention to what the numerator or denominator says. Take a look at the picture to see if whatever the directions ask you for, if they match, okay? So let's dive into our first problem. And remember, our third grade math review workbook is available for purchase in our store so that you can follow along in your own workbook. Problem 16 says, four fraction models are shown. Which two models are shaded to show equivalent fractions? So we're looking at our models. We see that model one has one, two, three parts. And of those three parts, two are shaded. Model two has one, two, three, four, five, six parts. And of that, four of the parts are shaded. Model three has one, two, three parts, and of that, one area is shaded. And for model four, we have one, two, three, four parts, and of that, four of the parts are shaded. So let's look at our answer choices. We have F, models one and two, G, models one and three, H models two and four, J models two and three. So our most important question is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the two models shaded to show equivalent fractions. Our second most important question is, what information can help us find the answer? Well, the information that can help us find the answer is seeing our models and we have our fractions. But again, even though we have the fractions, remember for equivalent fractions, the numerator and denominator will be different, but the values will be the same, okay? So again, model one is equal to two thirds, model two is equal to four sixths, 
model three is equal to one third and model four is equal to four fourths. Okay, so now our next question is, how do we solve the problem? Well, in order for us to solve this problem, what we need to do is look at all of the models and we're going to discover which two models have the same value, okay? That are shaded because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the two models that show the same shaded area, okay? So model one, again, we know that it's two thirds. It has three whole parts. And of that, two of the parts are shaded. Model two has six parts and of that four are shaded does it look those do those two look similar and that's what we're looking for looking at the models to see what looks like is similar in the shading to, and that means that they have the same value model three we have three whole parts and of that one is shaded and for model four there are four parts and of those four parts four are shaded okay so in looking at our all of our models and comparing them we discover that model one and model two both seem to have the same value okay and look side by side even though model two seems to be cut in half that part doesn't matter like we talked about in our examples we're looking at how it's shaded and also the part that's not shaded and they match, okay? So model one, which is two thirds and model two, which is four six, they have the same value shaded. So what is our correct answer? What we're gonna do is look at all of our answer choices to see which one shows model one and model two since we've determined that those are the two models that have equivalent fractions. Is it F, models one and two, G, models one and three, H, models two and four, or J, models two and three? And our correct answer is F. Models one and two are the two models that sh are shaded with the same value and they are equivalent fractions. Great job. Now let's move to question number 17. Nelson is playing a math game. He needs to match two cards that show equivalent shaded fractions. Which of these cards show a fraction that is equivalent to the fraction on Nelson's card? What's our most important question? What are we looking for? Very important question. That's going to help us be able to solve our question correctly. We are looking for the cards showing a fraction equivalent to the fraction on Nelson's card. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is determining what the fraction is for Nelson's card and what parts are shaded, and then comparing it to our answer choices. So Nelson's card, we see that there are three whole parts, and of those three whole parts, two are shaded. So the fraction is two thirds. Let's look at A. We see that for A, there are one, two, three, four, four whole parts. And of those parts, there are one, two that are shaded. So our fraction for A is equal to two fourths. For B, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six whole parts, and of that, two are shaded. Now, let's look at C. For C, we see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whole parts, and of those whole parts, there are four shaded. And for D, we can see that we have one, two, three, 
four, five, six whole parts. And of those six whole parts, there are one, two, three, four shaded. So our fraction for D is equal to four, six. Now, another friendly reminder, third graders, when we're looking for equivalent fractions, remember the numerator and denominator will be different, but the fractions will have the same value, okay? Now, how, how are we gonna solve this problem? Well, in order for us to solve this problem, what we're gonna do is compare our answer choices to Nelson's fraction, okay? Let's look at Nelson's card again. We see that there seems to be two parts that are shaded and then there's one part that isn't shaded. So we're gonna look at all of our answer choices to see which one looks to be shaded just like Nelson's, okay? Looks to be shaded just like Nelson's. Is it A, B, C, or D? Okay, now that we've compared Nelson's card to the answer choices, which one would you say have the same value or has the same parts shaded as Nelson? If you said D, you're absolutely correct. So Nelson's card is equal to two thirds and D is shaded with the same value as two thirds. D is four six. The correct answer again is D. And that is it for our equivalent fractions review part one. Remember, if you need a tutor, we have, um, virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring, parents can click the link in the description box to sign up for a, three, a free 30-minute consultation. And we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.